annual meeting for the town of Oakland electors. I would remind you if you're a resident and elector to please sign in on the attendance sheets um, by the door. And let's rise and join in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, the, to flag the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As you came in, there should have been um, minutes from the previous annual meeting in 2023. Hopefully you've had a chance to look at those and, and read them. And we would then entertain a motion to approve the meeting, annual meeting minutes from Tuesday, April 18th, 2023. I have a question or a question. Okay, Janice. That's right. That's Go ahead. Okay. So about the um, advisement, the motion about um, rejecting the IGA, there was actually a vote that was that did take place that was unanimous to make it an advisement motion, mm -hmm. and it was voted on unanimously by the public. Mm -hmm. Okay, say again, Jenna, because I just caught up with where you were. Sure, that's fine. Um, so there was a vote that took place. Mr. Kapsker would not allow me to make a, Binding. a regular motion, but then he allowed me to make an advisory motion. Right. The second reading passed by the public unanimously. So I don't know that, because it just says that a, an advisory motion will be considered by the town at a later date. There was actually a vote of the Board of Health to back the recovery. I do remember that. Yes. Do you really? I, I do too. I do okay. remember that. I should have that. I do remember okay. that. Okay. Okay. Good for doing it. All right. We will we will amend the minutes to reflect that properly then. Thank you. Any other corrections, changes, additions? It's supposed to have an attached list of residents and non residents who attended. I I have it in the okay. file. I just did not include it. Here, but it, to here. it but will be for the file. Though. In the official record, the attendance is included. Okay. Okay, so I'm looking for a motion to approve. Joe, okay, move. Second, please. Patty. Thank you. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. We have um, some old, newly elected, or newly elected old people. Whatever hey, that is. <laughs> Not sure. Um, old people. Susan, you want to take care of doing the swearing in? Uh, well, Jimmy Vigidio and Tom Jensen, please stand. Raise your right hand. I, Jimmy Digidio and Tom Jensen, having been elected or appointed to the Office of Town Board Supervisor, swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin and will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of said office to the best of my ability. I do. I do. Thank you very much. I thank thought you were going to make us read it all back. Uh, <laughs> no, I was going to say, when is she going to stop? <laughs> okay, and we also, since um, Ed have, have hired a new deputy clerk, as our um, Laura Lowry and Susan, you want to swear her in? Raise your right hand. I, Laura Lowry, having been elected or appoint, having been appointed to the office of deputy clerk treasurer, swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin and will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of said office 
for the best of my ability. Is that it? Okay. Thank you. Good. Thank you very much. Um, in the back was um, a quick summary of the um, 2023 audit. For board members, it is page number two in the draft audit report that you have. And oh, yeah, it has a stick on it. Okay, um, and so you you can look at that. That summarizes um, revenues and expenditures for the year and um, tells you where we ended up the year. And this is, like I say, draft report. This is for us to just have received this, so in time for you to to look at it. Susan, do you want to offer any comments or? Um. You will notice that at the bottom of the report, um, the number does not look that good. Um, but that number has been, we used ARPA money to uh, cover that deficit. So we are okay. And board members, you have the entire 30 pages um, of the draft audit report that we will pr approve or accept at a future meeting. Well, can I believe last year we we accepted this report, the profit and loss report, by by a motion. So we would be in order to have motion to accept the report. I'll make a motion to accept the unaudited uh, report as it states on the agenda. Second. No seconds. So I mean. So we're going to review. Oh, there he is. We're going to re review it at a later meeting we will in detail. Yes, and then it'll become a very official audit. So I, we, we should have a lot of detail on it. Okay. Then I second that. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We're at the point of the meeting where this is the um, time for you as residents. If you have questions, concerns, things you want us to talk about or um, ask about, this is your opportunity to speak. So, anyone, question, comments? Virginia? Rundown of where we're at in terms of the the whole uh, fire EMS district. Uh, if, in a, if that's going to be covered in greater detail in the actual meeting, you know, we can wait for that. But I just wondered if this is a good opportunity to make a clear summary of where we're at. Mm -hmm. I can um, let me just give give a real brief summary here. We have been as a town board, we have been reviewing and working with our attorney to define issues, concerns, um, things that we would like to see, some um, other issues. We have met with the Village of Cambridge um, and had those similar discussions. Um, and our attorneys um, are in contact with each other. Um, nothing has been determined um, at this moment, but we are in continuing in the process, and we will be having another meeting Tuesday. A week from today. A week from today um, with the village. And is that an open meeting? No. Because we're, and Janet, there's a very good reason for that because we're meeting with our attorneys and taking advice from them. Okay. Um, so. Is there a deadline that we can do No. But it'll probably delay the Cambridge's. Board meeting I again. Hope not. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. We were trying, you know, I, and it, it just, you know, <coughs> so, okay. Well, I, I have, if no one else has anything, I do have one thing I wanted to um, talk about. Uh, Meg Turville Heights. She's the Jefferson County Board Supervisor for District 16, which includes Town of Oakland. And she's been working with the Jefferson County Traffic Safety Commission. And one thing on their agenda for Thursday is um, the 
Highway 18 speed concerns. A lot of the residents have asked about if the speed could be reduced to say 45 all the way to um, at least Wolf Road, if not Highway A. So that's one thing that um, will be discussed. It's just on the agenda, which is also on our Town of Oakland um, website, if you want to take a look at it. Um, it's on, several things are on the agenda, and the one thing um, for the Highway 18 is just to discuss speed concerns. And that people can attend either by Zoom or in person. Right. right? It's okay. at 1 o'clock on Thursday, so it's in the afternoon. But there is a, a Zoom um, site if anybody's interested in hooking on to that. Okay. Any other things? <coughs> There's there another meeting with the town of Oakland and the village of Cambridge. No, I mean with the town of Oakland. There, there is another meeting. We agreed to a meeting on April 24th. Okay. Uh, I looked on the calendar here. Um, we don't have anything going on, so I'll register. Um, we, I'll confirm that with you. Okay. Um, I do Cambridge, but they they charge, for, you know, for it. So um, it's just more more of a pain. So uh, I started working on the agenda because I hadn't gotten any agenda suggestions from the other Mom. members um, <coughs> who often complain that agendas come out too late. So um, we have an agenda in the works, okay? Um, we have to pick and choose the things, I guess, that we want to focus on. Um, are there specific um, questions that you have, Connie? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And I would think the priority, if it's a public meeting, would have that. Mm -hmm. so I could you make sure that that's an item so at least the public has a chance? versus the attorney shutting everyone down who mm -hmm. wanted to speak at that meeting? I, I will. I, it's on there now. Um, I, what happened at the last meeting, um, I hadn't had to deal with before, but um, the, the apparently, uh, I guess when there's a special meeting, Robert's Rules of Order allows for approval of the agenda and, um, you know, so we, that's why we lost a lot of those things. Um, the attorney is firm in his opinion that we should not have public comment, but I will do everything that I can to keep it on there. Can I ask you to schedule? Yes. Okay. I'm going to try to schedule a um, working budget session before that, so sometime next week, uh, to try and sit down with um, uh, the EMS director and the assistant um, to see if we can track how to um, or set up a system for tracking uh, Lake Mills expenses. Um, because that, if we can do that, that will save us time at the 24th meeting. Um, so I'm going to try and get that going. Uh, I, I can't promise that I'll get it done, but you know, if you're interested, it's probably going to be a daytime meeting um, around like one o'clock or something because um, you know these people are almost you know somebody's got to be around here during the day. So uh, y yes, yep, yep. It should be a working. It's last year we did what they called a um, they called it a um, Committee of the whole, a budget committee of the whole. Um, so any of the members, as I understand it, that want to participate in the budget discussion could attend. And then once we get done with the budget com committee of the whole, then like a closed session, 
then we have to go into a regular open session um, and change from a budget committee to a, uh, a regular commission meeting. And I'm not an expert, but that's how I, how I read it. So that's what we'll try to do um, if we can get the guys to show, you know, have a meeting and work on those things. Shannon. So have the last couple of meetings been since the first year, have those all been special meetings? Um, actually, um, what I intended to say, I'm sorry, is that um, because it was a special meeting, they, um, the attorney told me that that is why there had to be uh, a mechanism to vote and approve line by line agenda items because it was a special meeting. Um, that didn't really have to do with the public comment. So, so what I hear you saying then is the, the board agreed to remove the public comment from the agenda. No, the attorney just, Mark Cook and the attorney just said we're removing it. So otherwise we wouldn't have had a meeting. <laughs> Okay. Can you tell me what meeting between January and March, the end of March, was their regular quarterly meeting that happened? Uh, Did that be required by the IPA? Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure the, the only meeting that we had during that first quarter uh, was, was it February 7th? And I believe that that was a special meeting also. So they had no quarterly Correct. year meeting as required by the IPA. Yeah, that's the way I look at it. Okay. Okay. I hadn't thought about looking at it that way, but now that you bring it up. <coughs> Any other comments? Otherwise, we'll move into our regular meeting. Yes. So what are those? That's, we're still in process with that, working with our attorneys, um, and we have not finalized the uh, changes that we're requesting. So they are coming in April? Yes. And I don't see how that would not be a deadline. Is that what I need to know? I'm not sure that there is a deadline for that. Deadline stated in a meeting April 1st that those were supposed to be submitted. Well, we, we, we did submit all of our... We, 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 have, we have submitted things to the, to the attorney for refinement and um, working to see how it would work into an IGA. Um, but we have not finalized any of those issues. We're struggling with the same thing that the regular fire commission is. If they're never meeting, they're, they haven't responded to our request for um, uh, dispute resolution, mediation, or arbitration. Um, so we have a number of issues that are on the board um, with that. Is it, uh, one last, is it your intent to continue into <coughs> the IGA in 2025? I, I don't want to answer that question just in the fact that I cannot speak for the board. We are, we are doing our best to come up with something that we believe will work. I don't know whether that will be successful. We have, we have an internal working um, date by which if we cannot get to this point, we will pursue a different path. And because we, we're rapidly coming up on, you know, I, I know it seems like a long time, but December 31st isn't that far along. And if, if it's not going to work, we know that there are a number of issues that we have to address um, to continue to provide service. Well, and the issue that we're coming up on, 
currently yeah, is um, we're going to have to very quickly make the decision about what bills to pay. Um, yeah. You know, I, I'm sending out a report uh, later tonight that will give everybody. Sheila, let's update. hold that till we get into the report. Okay. okay? Let's okay. let's finish yeah. this up. Okay. Because we can get into our regular meeting All right. further. So, okay. Motion to adjourn the, the electors' meeting. Go. Good. I'll second. And Joy second. Okay. All those in favor of adjourning the electors? Oh, yes, wait. Yes. I missed one thing. The discussion, passable action on the date and time for the 2025 annual meeting. By statute, it is traditionally Tuesday, the third Tuesday of the month. That would be Tuesday, April 15th of 2025 <coughs> at 6.30 p.m. I'll make a motion to have the next annual meeting on Tuesday, April 15th, 2025 at 6.30 p.m. at the Town Hall. Okay. Second? Second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 That motion carries. And now we'll go back to the, to the meeting to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 And opposed. Okay, and we are done with the um, electors meeting and we will go on to our regular town board meeting. And I would call that meeting to order at 6.51 p.m. And ask Susan, verification of notice, please. The meeting was properly noticed. Okay. Any public comment um, for the regular town board meeting? any item not already covered on the agenda. Okay. We then have approval of minutes from March 19th and 26th. Let's begin with the March 19th, 2024 meeting. I'll make a motion to approve the March 19th, 2024 minutes. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And then we get to the meeting, minutes of the meeting of March 26th. I'll move to approve the minutes of the March 26th town board meeting. And second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. And we will move on to some of the reports. Jerry, police report. Uh, within the since, since our last meeting, um, been pretty busy. We've had handled uh, two traffic crashes, both for minor uh, property damage only. Um, Joy might not agree with it as being minor, <laughs> but uh, all in all, it turned out to be. It's better. minor. Yeah. Um, again, several speeding citations, mainly on 12 and Highway 18. No big 80s this time, but uh, still all in the mid to lower 70s. Uh, we, had a, we have a training event coming up tomorrow, or actually Thursday, that's uh, being uh, sponsored by Ford PD, which is uh, a legal update. Our district attorney will come and give a presentation and just update us on, on laws. Uh, this Saturday, it was short notice. I got notified by the DNR last Friday. We worked it out between Friday and Saturday that at the town hall here we're going to be um, sponsoring a DNR board training event for mm -hmm. law enforcement only. So we'll have several law enforcement agencies um, here. Hopefully, the meeting before us. Maybe law enforcement Easy now. <laughs> <laughs> I overbooked. Um, we'll work out. Like law, law presentations, uh, crash response, uh, DNR resources that are available for local law enforcement. Officer safety considerations, OWI processing, <coughs> stuff like that. So it'll be it'll be great training for um, us area law enforcement. So. Okay. Any questions of, of Jerry? Okay. Good to see you guys have been putting in a lot of time. We've had a lot of coverage recently. A lot of hours um, going to be covered in in April as well. So Good. when are you going to get the patrol out? Do you know. So I'll be meeting with Armando on Saturday. Okay. On Saturday, so yep. you come up with your schedule then? Yeah. Uh, Let us know how that looks. Yeah. Okay, Thank good. You. Thank Thanks, you. Jerry. Thanks, Jerry. Public Works, Jeff. 
Good evening. Um, give you a park road update. We believe we got the final piece so. to our approval. So there should be no delays, which we anticipated there wouldn't be a problem anyway until we started moving some soil. Uh, we're supposed to be out there staking and, and getting ready for the, the first shovel of dirt, which is going to be next week, I believe, according to the schedule. Okay. But we also have a utility out there that's going to slow things up if they don't move their profuse dirt. I got a mess. Yeah. Yeah. We've been, uh, we are trying to post on the website when we know that there are going to be road closures on park. And so do check the website for the town. We're, we're trying to stay on top of that. We've, we've gotten the contractor to provide us a more detailed schedule. And of course, like any schedule, though, it, it'll come and go. But we're, we're going to try and, and post. And the only other thing that's kind of outstanding is welcome to, to Oakland. There's concerns of a burial ground underneath oh. park <laughs> roads. Uh -oh. And so we will be having a monitor w watching all of our digging when we do the excavation between Ripley Road and Scoville Road. Mm -hmm. They have to actually do a report on that, don't we've they? We've like yes, they did on Ripley? Been, yeah, there's been a report done, and they've decided that they want a monitor right. on this. And they so did that on Ripley, too. Yeah. No, we didn't have a monitor on Ripley that I remember. I think. But anyway, the, the um, contractor, the... Um, Engineering firm is getting bids for the cost of the monitor. So, but it's just every time we turn around, there's something on this. So, um, do you want to say you got your new toy? Or uh, <laughs> I got my latest budget item, okay. and we put it to use last week, starting to sweep the gutters on Ripley. Works really well. We're going to stay on top of that, so we should not have as much problem with our sumps filling up. So we should be in good shape on that one anyway. Okay, good. Uh, we're currently doing brush pickup. And as soon as we get done with brush pickup, we will get the pier in. We got fishermen and, and boaters that want the pier in. And, and we're going, trust me, we're going as fast as we can, but we got to go according to our schedule. Otherwise, we'll be all over the place. I know we've offered in the past, as a Lake District, because we, we probably have some people that would offer to help put that in. I know everybody talks about getting that pier in sooner. <coughs> Any yeah. chance you could take some volunteers to help? Because well, I'm sure we could put something out and get it. Um, I got to go over the pier first. Uh, every spring it needs a lot of work from the year before. And then once we get it out and start working on it, then we usually take it right away. Down there, I don't know how long it's going to take to do the repairs this year. There's always some that you find. Um, but I appreciate the offer. I'll, I'll Anything that can help speed it up, yeah, just let yep. us know. We can get yep. the word out. Um, we also will be putting that uh, envelope box up. Then I don't know exactly how everything is going to lay out down there, but we'll get that up. Okay. we got to put our big sign up, too. Yeah, it's on order. We're waiting for it to come in. It was ordered in a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. You're talking about the boat ramp? Mm -hmm. With the yeah. new ordinance language on it. I'm assuming we want to leave the old one down there until, until we get the new one. Right. Correct. Okay. Who puts it in? You guys put it in? Uh, I'm guessing we're going to get nominated. <laughs> but we'll get it. So staff-wise, you're doing that then? Yes. Yes. Um, we have a potential uh, interviewee on Thursday. See how that one turns out. Got experience in the municipal and private sector as far as work, so maybe we can nab them before the county gets in this thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Tim is working very well, and so we're hopeful by getting the third one on that that will will solve some of those issues where we're behind on. So be able, fill, fill, be able to fill the gaps. How long are you doing brush pickup? Uh, we usually do it for a week. Um, weather permitting. So this week and well, if it rains a lot, we won't be getting any. Right. Because uh, it gets kind of uh, muddy in the yards and 
especially as we get a big amount. So we'll try to lay off it for a minute or so. Um, did you get an update from the construction people? Yeah. They're going to try to get going next week for the, the cold storage slash warm storage. Okay, so thanks. <coughs> Would have been nicer in March, but, you know, we'll, we'll do it. Yeah. Okay, good. Any other questions for Jeff? A lot of, lot of work uh, going on, so. Okay, thanks, All right, thank Jeff. you. Thanks, Jeff. Susan, clerk's report. Okay. Um, the first thing I would like to do is welcome Laura Lowry as the uh, new deputy clerk treasurer in the town of Oakland. She's been with us two weeks, and um, I enjoy working with her very much. Um, I hope she enjoys the work as well, because <laughs> we certainly have lots of things to uh, catch up on, because I was gone for a couple weeks in March. So uh, Laura has been a great help to me, and I'm very glad that she's here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, we had a, a, a very well-attended April election. Even though the weather was horrible, uh, we had almost 1,100 voters, uh, which is almost 50%. So we uh, really do have a very committed electorate um, here in the town of Oakland. I would like to publicly thank all of our election workers. They are wonderful people. They are very dedicated. Uh, Laura and I are meeting with them, uh, with some of them next week uh, to see <coughs> if there's things that we can improve on and to make sure that all of our election workers have uh, the training that they need uh, before the November election. Uh, Laura and I are also going to be attending a webinar tomorrow. Uh, the state of Wisconsin has new alcohol license laws, and uh, we are going to st uh, start learning um, about uh, the new laws so that we can get uh, forms out to our businesses by the end of the month. Any questions for Susan? This one? Okay, good. Thank you very much, Susan. Nice to have you back. We, <laughs> I missed you if nobody else did. <laughs> no, well, well, no, we missed her. <laughs> <coughs> okay, next no report doubt. is Fort Atkins Wing Fire Chief Bruce Peterson. Come on up. For those of you that don't know, um, the town of Oakland <laughs> is contracted with the city of Fort Atkinson for fire and EMS service for the portions that lie east of Treloff and down pretty much very fairly far south, although some along North Surrey. And we have a, gosh, we have a multi-year contract with you guys mm -hmm. so, um, and have for many years. And Bruce is not totally new to the area, but he's new to Fort Atkinson. Yeah, I spent uh, 35 years in a state immediately south of this. Which will remain nameless. Which will remain nameless. Uh -huh. um, similar size and makeup a, a, as Fort, so I'm comfortable in kind of my surroundings there and the size of the department. Uh, retired there, came up here, spent a year in Johnson Creek as fire chief and lived there currently and then couldn't pass up the opportunity when the Ford positions weren't available. So um, they're a really great department. I'm, I'm honored to be there and, and working with you folks. Uh, I emailed my report to you guys, which I do every month. And so if there's something on there um, that, or something's not on there you'd like to see, please let me know. Uh, I also send out, I call them critical incident notifications. So um, it could be town specific, like the crash in Kosh uh, the other night, uh, the other day, I let them know specifically. But anything not as sensitive, I'll, I'll let all of our townships know. Just in case you guys get a call from one of the residents, you'll, you'll know what's happening. So uh, I've been there six weeks and uh, learned in the department. Uh, we have a, one of our division chiefs retiring, so we're in the process of a division chief promotion, and then a captain promotion, and then ultimately bringing on a new firefighter paramedic. So that'll be done in the next uh, six weeks or so. The uh, other exciting thing we're working on is our ISO rating, which uh, for those that don't know, ISO is an insurance group that rates fire departments from uh, one to basically 10, which is no department. Um, 
we enjoy a three right now, which is a really great rating for our department, and townships kind of uh, dovetail what the city is that protects them. Um, so we're reapplying to that. Our goal is to get down to a two, and we're going to do everything we can to get to that rating. Uh, great news is there's only 24 departments in Wisconsin out of the 1,700 departments that have a rating of a two. Mm -hmm. So we're putting all of our focuses on that, which would be a great feather in our cap for um, for you to show what our fire protection you have down south that we protect. And it also lowers rates, which is probably more important. Uh, they base insurance rates on ISO ratings, so especially for businesses. So it'll lower the rates on that. So I'll keep you informed on that. And that'll be about a 90 to 120 day process. So other than that, I'm uh, always available. You have my cell phone numbers and feel free to call me anytime. And if you need to meet privately or I uh, try to make as many of these as I can. Unfortunately, they conflict with yeah. the town or the city meetings. But so if there's <coughs> anything happening of importance, I'll bypass that to be here for you folks. We so do with that, appreciate uh, that. Thank you for having me tonight. You're any, very welcome. Any questions for Bruce or anything? No. Thanks for coming. Do you have a card on you here that I? Yes, I do. I heard I heard those are going by the wayside, but card. Yeah. Oh, I was <laughs> <coughs> you have one, I'll use it. I'll give you one. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Thank Appreciate you. it for coming out here. So. All right. Let's Cambridge Fire Chief Joe Evans. Well, I don't have much to report. I handed out the latest uh, proposal for the fix of the tender from fire services. My opinion is not to go with that because that price tag is $56,000 plus the $5,600 for tires. So that's $60,000. So my opinion is to still go with the new chassis. Okay. But at this point, we don't need to take any action on that. So no. we're, we're good. No. Okay. Were you right. thinking about ha picking that truck up and bringing it back and <coughs> yeah. using Christiana's um, people to do the repairs instead of fire services? Yeah, that's the thing that I was going to do tomorrow is see if George and Steve can go over and pick it up. Okay. So Cause They've done most of the repairs for the fire equipment, correct? That is correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any, all anything else? No. That's all I, I know. saw on yeah. Facebook. Your training that you had. Yeah. Oh, last and night. It's yeah. really nice to see the those reports. Yeah, I like to get all that information out so people can see. And yeah, what, uh, yeah, that's really nice. Thank you. You're welcome. And and we want to thank the guys for coming today. <laughs> here. Yeah. <coughs> we um, we had a slight we had a slight miscalculation of the breeze, um, and uh, oh. the burn pile burned again so uh, a little bit oh. too strongly so. and uh, oh I didn't know that well we you know <coughs> <laughs> we were out of marshmallows so you know, there was no, no point no in one else I, I remember a brush fire that turned out to be because of that and it was so windy well it was like back in what 2016 yeah. and everybody thought it was like done oh, yeah. and then the winds oh. kept switching and that did the same thing. So I guess I was going to ask Jeff, do you guys have a sign out there that says no hot ashes or anything? Or I'm glad we put up a sign because we're reading it. Okay. Yeah, remember reading is optional. <laughs> okay. I have a lot of signs <coughs> that say a lot of things, but if you follow, they would be a really nice. I mean, I know he explained what's happened today, and but I agree with that. So if there's a sign, just I would suggest just to put it up, just because then. Yeah. Yeah, that's my suggestion. Is, is that what happened today? It was hot well, ashes. I was at work and I heard the report saying that something was put on some hot embers or something. Is that correct? That was correct. Mm -hmm. Somebody decided they put it where it was burning. So. It was smoldering and then became a nice fire, and then when the wind picked up. It You know what? Now that I think about it, you're welcome, Joe. <laughs> 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 so, okay.
Any anything else for for Chief? Thank you very Thank much. You. Um, Sheila, anything more on fire commission report um, uh, that you didn't cover yet? Yeah, uh, I mean I can just review the last projection for the quarter. Right now, it's just all about cash flow and trying to keep the bills paid and people paid. Um, we are uh, we're, we'll run out of money by May first. So we have. Um, I got Mark to cash in the, in the bank of Deerfield. Um, that money market was like $36,000, $37,000, and that was deposited. Um, we have payroll due this, well, tomorrow, probably tomorrow. I, I think it's either tomorrow or Thursday is usually when it hits the bank. Um, that with the, you know, with the, um, Benefits or the taxes is going to be, um, it's going to, you know, kind of wipe out most of what we have. Um, the savings account at the bank right now is uh, like $36,000, and that's all we have in reserves at this point, um, other than $2,800 at Bank First. So, how about the balance sheet that we did see? Uh, let me look it up. I had it open and then. Yes. Put into the Correct. Yeah. It was put into the checking account. Um, so now, well, let's do the verification. <laughs> okay. So right now we have um, sixty-two thousand nine hundred, and I was I had it backwards. Um, sixty-two thousand nine thirty-four. 67 in the checking account and only 3,546 in the savings account. So the payroll tomorrow or Wait, Thursday. I'm sorry, how much in the savings account? $3,546. $3,000? Yeah. $3,000 or savings No, $3,000. Um, I took the $66,000 fire truck payment out of the savings account because there wasn't enough in the regular checking account at the time. And so um, I asked Mark Cook then to go to the Bank of Deerfield and withdraw the rest of the money. And he did that and it's, you know, it's in there. So now the payroll, like I said, the payroll tomorrow or Thursday, depending on when it hits, is gonna wipe out most of that. So. And the fire truck payment came? The fire truck payment came in ten days. Well, it's probably going to be around thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, that's with taxes. So, I can put twenty five hundred dollars from bank first. We don't know. I don't know. This is why I keep asking for the lifeline billing account access. We don't know for sure how much money is on its way. And I can't go to the bank and ask for a short-term loan without, you know, published financial statements and something to show what assets we have on the way. And they continue to deny me the opportunity to have that. Okay. Never easy. Nope. All right. So that's where we're at. Okay. Virginia, go ahead. Well, Cambridge will have a meeting next week. They could potentially put it up for a vote to pay the bills, and I mean to pay that bill and send us the money, which would keep us afloat for a little bit. Um, and then our next opportunity would be May. Well, we're, we are we are approving on our bill list tonight a quarterly payment. Oh, okay. We choose to exercise our rights under the agreement to not have to pay it immediately. We have 60 days. We have the base money. Once mm -hmm. Advent pays us, 
for our town to have gas money. And we have to keep in mind that those payments from Oakland and Cambridge are intended to get us through the rest of the second quarter. You know, probably not. I can't guarantee it, but I'm not comfortable with saying that we could. Absolutely not. Not without what I have. The fire commission attorney asked me to send him a list of the things that I need or want, and I, I guess we'll, you know, see what we can do about getting that. Yeah. Are we still getting past due bills from people? Uh, I haven't gotten any more this week. But, yeah, we've gotten quite a few past due bills. And just so you know, I've been told by emp former employees, vendors, blah, 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 that they're told to um, not send their bills until later. <laughs> and, you know, it's not a, not a good it's. But anyway, right now I haven't gotten any more this week. So. Thank you. That's Anything really else? Good. All right. Discussion, possible, possible action on a building inspector's contract. Um, we were notified back in December that Greg Knoll was giving notice and would like us to find um, someone to take over the building inspectors. We sent out a number of RFPs. The, and we got a response that um, looked very good from the city of Lake Mills where we would contract with the city of Lake Mills to use their inspector, which happens to be someone who worked with um, Greg Troy Evanson for a number of years. He is a Lake Mills. Um, and so we have um, looked at the intergovernmental agreement, had it reviewed. That's fine. We had some changes made to it. It was in your packet. We would um, recommend that we ad accept their IGA. It's a, a basically a two-year agreement. Um, puts us at the same kind of formula that we had with Greg as far as money collected, how much. Um, so, um, and, and actually Troy's, I've talked with him, he's pretty excited about um, coming back and being able to work here again. Um, so. We would look for a motion <coughs> to approve this um, building inspector's contract. So moved. Motion, second. I'll second it. Okay. Moved and seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Can I just, you know, I didn't, sorry, I didn't get a chance to say, I have one more thing. Oh. You segued quickly. I'm sorry. Can I just ask one more thing? Sure. All right. Is there not a way, it seems to me that the issues we have right now um, with the fire commission are that um, um, they're kind of, all their actions are driving the stake into the ground um, and forcing the hand to, um, you know, stop all this and start over. Do we have any options at all, such as meeting as the five municipalities to agree to um, make Mark Buck step down and quite possibly um, eliminate the position of the deputy um, director and quite possibly um, fire the current um, Director of EMS. Aren't all those actions spelled out in the current IGA and they have to be followed through that process until it officially ends? Um, yeah, I think they do in the sense, I mean, in the sense if you had a uh, smoothly operating organization, um, but we don't have a smoothly operating organization. And, you know, the only, we've tried everything we can to go through this, um, trying to get the board members to um, vote on these things. And, you know, they, he sent a, a person in his place that was not, I looked at the minutes um, from their board meetings, um, a few, 
um, of the past meetings and there was no approval for this person. Um, I'm just wondering. I, I it's, a, it's an issue that we have put um, before both attorneys. Um, okay. And um, they have um, opted to put some of those issues on hold while we clarify terms and understandings and, and things. And I think that um, why is we, that a good idea? When we when we meet next week, oh. the exchange is I think three issues. Um, you know, are are we to the point that we need to change course and um, do something different? Um, and that could be any number of different actions. So I, I, um, I can't really go beyond that. All right. I all mean, right. I feel your. I think we all do. I mean, we all feel the frustration. It's horrible what's happening. Well, if we, and we have an opportunity to try to fix it Correct. if we can remove the roadblocks, um, which would make you know the process of importing a new IGA um, a lot easier, I think. But so I just was curious well, about. Can I maybe take a minute? My concern as a taxpayer is they're bankrupting us, and I, as a taxpayer. And I'm going to end up being responsible monetarily for cleaning up their messes. So if they have refused to move forward or move off dead center because they're digging in their heels to prove a point and we can't move forward and the mediation hasn't been resolved and the deadlines haven't been resolved, why has not this municipality or any other municipality turned this over to the district attorney? Enough is enough. My taxpayer money is being spent without the proper approvals, without following a contractual agreement. And this has gone on for a year and a half, a year and a half, and we're still sitting here sending the same letters. Can you send us this? Can you? And they're not. Yeah, I, it's can I, I've asked, I've it's kind of asked Sheila to, to stop sending letters because it's, it's, it's a waste of her time. Um, you know, I can only say that you know we are we have not ruled out any option at this point. We are working with our attorneys as best we can. Um, you know when you look at it, you have people um, that said to us, "Yeah, we'll work together," and then when we get into a meeting, they have not. Um, and we can't control who um, a municipality selects, although we do have. Real question on the one, but um, I have to, <coughs> you have to know that I that I find this terribly frustrating um, and terribly drawn out. Um, and no, we're losing I, good people in the process. Yeah, you and know, and that's another thing that's an issue. We are, you know, I, I can tell you that that the attorneys have been working very hard um, on things and. Our attorney and the village's attorney are working very close together, and hopefully that will get us to the point where we need to be. So, All right, thank you. And, and time, we have our timetable is very short. Um, so we, we hope to stop the bleeding soon. Yeah, it's a horrible situation, it really is, that we're all putting. When we passed about the assistant director, we, that was an open meeting, wasn't it? We did that after a closed meeting, but, but that, Sheila put it on the agenda and it got defeated by the other member of the town. Yeah, they removed it. But the town of Oakland did pass for mm -hmm. budgetary constraints right. to remove, uh, well, to discontinue. To eliminate the position. Right. Yeah, uh, same thing. We don't need a full time chief um, or a deputy chief. Um, they're admitted, their function, from what I can see, is mostly administrative. They don't regularly work shifts. Um, most of the people that right. are running the ambulance. But that has been something that the town of Oakland has passed. Yes, we have passed it, and, and obviously if we get to this point of the agreement and there's a budgetary, we will oppose the budget. Um, so I, there's lots of issues here. Um, so. Very. Okay, let me move on to discussion and possible action. And we, you know, Jana, let me just address all of us feel very much 
you know, this, no, I, you know, if, if everybody remembers when we sent out one of the informative cards, we told you that our entire levy goes to funding fire and EMS. And everything else we do, we borrow and pay it back the next year and do this cycle, and it is just killing us um, in, in many ways. And so um, there is, there is, I don't, none of our members are, are happy with this. be accountability for all this unauthorized withdrawal of all this money of $458,000. Somebody needs to, at the end of the day, be <coughs> accountable for this, and I hope we don't lose track of that. I agree with you. Okay, let's, let's get on to discussion, passable action on temporary Class B license, liquor license and two temporary operator license, operator's license for Cambridge Lions Club. Um, the 2024 Ripley Ride, is that the triathlon or is that the it's separate thing? No, I think it's just it's the bike ride. It's just, that's just the ride, okay. And do you have a copy of the application for the Class B and it lists the, um, the addresses and stuff of the yacht? I'll make a motion then. It and the date okay. and then the operator's licenses okay. are on the back. I'll make the motion to approve the two temporary operators license for Cambridge Lions Club and the 2024 Ripley Ride. And second. Second, okay. So we approve the temporary Class B for, for the Ripley Ride. All those in favor say aye. 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 And then we need to approve the two Cambridge temporary Class B licenses, Anna Brash and Melissa Brock. So moved. Second. Second. And then second it, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, motion is carried. Um, any other announcements? Um, <coughs> any other issues? Writing some good tickets. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you get the correspondence, the court reports. Um, Virginia, do you want to comment at all on these? You're seeing a lot of tickets. writing a lot of tickets. Um, and it's, it's kind of impressive when I see, um, I see the, the fact that, you know, there's people out there who are driving with revocations, with suspensions, and it, it makes no difference to them. They're out on the road. Um, but, you know, the officers are uh, alert and they're able to, you know, apprehend uh, these people you know, sometimes for, you know, not dimming their lights, and if it's, you know, midnight and it's kind of a, a clue, if yeah. there's a car approaching and it doesn't dim its lights, uh, so they might stop and then find, um, oh, this car isn't registered, the person doesn't have a valid driver's license, uh, they've been drinking something. Uh, so it's, it's very, you know, it's very admirable that we've got a good, uh, group of people out there. Yeah. So the net result is Virginia and, and Mary Schaefer work harder now because our officers are writing <laughs> more tickets and um, and that's, that's a good thing. So, okay. Um, approval of disbursements. Oh, so is this where the check for Cambridge is? Yes. Or I mean for the fire commission? Yes. Could we could we say anything about how they get to use the money? <laughs> No, you can hold it though. Uh, can we say they? Can we say they can only use it for payroll? Um, Do you have an amount? Because we could. Yeah, I can get an amount. Um, Do we, can we hold it for sixty days? You said, or we have the, the um, within the we have to pay it within the quarter. Okay. Um, so. Or or just say that it can only be used for essential spending. I had a meeting with these guys on Friday for two hours, or no, hour and a quarter, I guess. Joe and Tom and Paul and Jason. And we went through the accounts and tried to determine, you know, what is what is and what isn't. But I was just thinking in order to keep us from having, you know, I, I, I just would hate to see somebody go buy turnout gear or anything else 
um, you know, <laughs> until this is resolved. I think you're, you're stepping outside of the bounds of what the what it says in the agreement. All right. The IGA. So I'll try IGA. to get that done through on the meeting on the 24th. Yeah, I, I think All that right. you know. Um, I just wanted to yeah, ask. Yeah, that's that's something that if if the commission says, hey, we can't do this anymore, um, you know, and I, you know, and there, there is, there is a concern that at a certain point, we have to still have people um, to staff and, and do things. So, okay, approve the disbursement. Could you? I will make a motion that we approve the disbursements beginning with check number two forty eight, the Blue, Blue Sky Trust. Through and including check number 328, the Jefferson County Treasurer, in the aggregate amount of $299,563.12. I'll second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. So, just to confirm, you're saying the check is still being written? We're cutting the check. 114, whatever our, our normal yeah. quarterly share is. 114, 775. Doesn't mean we've delivered the check. It means we've authorized and cut the check. Okay, next meeting date is May 21st, 2024. Hearing nothing else, a uh, motion for adjournment. There's so a motion. Second. Yeah. Moved and seconded. All those in favor, say <laughs> aye. Aye. <coughs> Motion carries. Thank you all for um, for attending and being here. Appreciate it. Let's go get some rain. I'm going home. <laughs>